Cole was into the cold showers and cold dips for a while. He found it really helped him mentally. I remember him talking about it when we were on the road and like, oh God, I'm not going for a swim or I don't want to take a cold shower. And so he popped in for however long every day and encouraged people to do it as well. He's definitely the driving force behind the band. We all were in it together, but a lot of the success we had was because of Code's ambition. You know, he'd be spending an extra two hours in the studio trying to write the next song, and um, he put everything into it. I think that's keeping me going with the band is all of these ideas that we developed with Cody that we still want to share. Cody still would want to share with everybody. Kind of works with the with the other stuff happening. Yeah, let's try. Can you play just that loop with you, just you, no acoustic guitar? Yeah. My name is Tim Chasen, and I play fiddle, guitar, and vocals in the East Pointers. My name is Jake Sharon. I play the piano and guitar in the East Pointers. There's some headphones around there, Tim. Uh, maybe the ones oh, yeah. on the amp there. Oh yeah, great. So I grew up in Ontario um, playing traditional music. It's a small scene across Canada. You get to know people and hear about people. So I'd heard about the Chasen family a lot and the big family and all. Their musical talent. I was out in Charlottetown for a month uh, doing a gig with Stephanie Cadman. And uh, I ran into Cody who was playing at the old Triangle Pub with his brother JJ. Realized we had a lot in common. We liked to share a uh, few drinks and <laughs> play music. So that's what we did. We had a great time. We just kept joking, like, you know, maybe someday we will start a little band. Like, but there was no, no rush or whatever. It just every time we got together to play and drink beer, it was always, it was always a treat. Just whenever the three of us could actually hang. We were all really focused on music, and especially Cody. He just played banjo all day, every day for a long time, and got really good, really quick. We love, you know, folk and pop music and indie music and, and then trad music. So it's like, how do you find where they meet? We always talked about that the feeling you get when you listen to an amazing traditional like music set. We're like, oh, more people need to hear this. Like kids need to grow up listening to this stuff. And we made a goal as, as the East Point is to make, just make it a little more accessible. Try to create music that maybe younger people would like listening to and get them hooked on the, the traditional stuff. Cody and I are first cousins and we have a big family and for some reason the traditional fiddle music really stuck. Eight generations apparently of, of fiddle players. With all 50 some first cousins, like, I think everyone can either sing or dance or play fiddle. We pulled Jake into the, <laughs> into the fold. I always loved coming to PEI. There's such a rich culture here for, for traditional music. There's obviously many cultures have traditional music that's passed on. For us, when we say traditional music, it's coming from the Scottish and the Irish and French sort of backgrounds. Growing up in Ontario, you always, you looked east to see where the, there's lots of fiddle players out here. And a lot of people on PEI play Tim's dad's tunes. 
that's a big part of the PEI tradition. Everyone's yeah. playing these Kevin Chasen tunes, which are really great tunes. Folk music and, and trad music, for, for me, feels like a, a style of music that is it's about like feeling it and learning it and like from your heart more so than like with your brain. It's more about feeling the music and, and playing it how you interpret it. Everyone plays different, like it, that's the cool thing about Celtic fiddle, especially out here. And I think it's very encouraged here for folk music to be like pushed ahead rather than like you have to play it exactly like this. It's like there's more openness to like a different style coming in. Your dad might disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My dad is pretty traditional, but he also is very like he really appreciates different styles. I guess you need both. Like you need people to, to preserve it and then people to push Definitely. it forward. Yeah. Well, it's funny, like we all met and enjoyed partying and having beers and stuff like that, but the band didn't start until Cody was in a really rough spot and uh, needed some help. It was a challenging time for him. He had just quit drinking and he was at my house for a while and I just remember, yeah, I called Jake, I was like, you need to come to PEI like as soon as you can because Code's writing these tunes and, you know, we've been trying to keep spirits as high as we can. I think he came like that weekend and we just booked a little recording session with a buddy. Yeah, it happened pretty quick, but it definitely was Cody becoming sober that kick-started the band. We, we made it happen for, to help Code through a, through a tough time. And that kind of became a theme of the band, just focusing on kind of mental health. That's the one, yeah. That's the yeah, yeah. That sounds super chilled. We are working on um, a chilled version of our song, Stronger Than You Know. And uh, yeah, this is a song that uh, Code and Jake and I wrote with our friend Colin McDonald. La what, two years ago? Yeah. Like almost two years ago. I remember the day that we came in to this basement to write it and uh, the night before, or maybe it was like two nights before, there was a pretty big storm. And uh, Cody had just recently, it was his first winter in this house that he, him and his wife had just bought uh, up near Surrey. And it's like a cottage on the cliff and it's really beautiful. And yeah, it was just a really big storm that he thought his house was gonna blow down. <laughs> yeah, so that next day we were just kind of talking about um, just the metaphor for Digging deeper when times are tough, you know, weathering the storm, kind of vibe a lot of the words. And, and we, we just pictured like that winter storm on the on the East Coast. And this is Code's, um, this is the original banjo part. That was recorded. Right here, right well, here. the other side of the room. Yeah. <laughs> um, 2021. 2021. Yeah. Because we did the whole album down here, we worked with a producer in Toronto, and we sent him all the stems from this room. So we have everything saved, which is kind of cool. We have all Cody's isolated parts, yeah. which, I, you know, in a normal setting, we might not have. Yeah, it's a crazy experience. And, like, I know the first time that we sat down to... After Co passed, Jake and I were like, yeah, it was hard. Yeah, it was hard to hear his banjo by, by itself. January 6th, 2022, yeah. It's been, been a year already, hard to believe. So Code, um, had an aortic aneurysm and uh, it was a very quick and kind of unavoidable um, something he might have been living with for a long time an undiagnosed heart condition and uh, yeah came out of nowhere yeah
before Cole passed away, it was like the best that we've ever seen him, mentally and physically. And Cody was, he was diagnosed um, bipolar when he was younger and became really comfortable talking about it, talking about mental health, and uh, he helped so many people. I think for, there were a few years there where Cody gave the band credit for, for saving his life and um, he sort of put everything into the band because that was the thing that he thought that saved his life. It was pretty cool this last year. I think he realized that it wasn't the band that saved it. Was he, he, he did it. He turned his life around, you know, with his friends and his family and he just seemed more at peace in his last year there. Oh, for yeah, sure. Time. With himself yeah. and with everything. Yeah. Nice work, fellas. That's great. I feel great. I know why Cody did it now. That's great. Good stuff. To set up great. Overdid it. You burnt it. Oh, you want some strawberry raspberry jam? Strawberry rhubarb jam? Strawberry rhubarb jam. Do you think you can step dance in that Elsa dress? Sitting and temperatures fall, it can slow you down to a crawl. The sound when the power goes out is so quiet and so loud. The wind's blowing in somehow to could knock your house down. The big waves of murky waters, snow beating sons and daughters. Hold on a little longer, you're stronger than you know Stronger than you know I, I know that feeling Of fear and doubt 
stuck inside There's no way out The sound when the power goes out It's so quiet and so loud The wind's blowing in somehow It can knock your house down The big waves of murky waters Snow beating sons and daughters Hold on a little longer You're stronger than you know The sound when the power goes out so quiet and so loud The wind's blowing in some heart It can knock your house down In big waves of murky waters Snow being sons and daughters Hold on a little longer You're stronger than you know power goes out, it's so quiet and so loud, the wind's blowing in some heart, it could knock your house down, in big waves of murky waters, snow beating sons and daughters, hold on a little longer, you're stronger than you know, the sound when the power goes out, it's so quiet and so loud, the wind's blowing in some heart, it could knock your house down, in big waves of murky waters, Snow beating sons and daughters Hold on a little longer You're stronger than you know You're stronger than you know Hold on a little longer You're stronger than you know You're stronger than you know Hold on a little longer You're stronger than you know